What's up, everybody? It's your boy Jay back here again with another video today on Real Sports Talk. And today I want to talk about the Cowboys' current situation at the cornerback position and uh, if I believe they should draft a corner in the first round with pick 17. Uh, now, my first thoughts is with pick 17, I definitely don't feel like the Cowboys should draft a cornerback. Um, I don't really feel like it's that much of a need for them. Everybody, in my opinion, is kind of overreacting to the Byron Jones move because yes Byron Jones was a really good corner but to be fair his production did drop off this year from what it was last year he didn't play as well in the press or man coverage and um he got beat by guys that he used who he didn't get beat by last year and you know he wasn't as as good of a corner in terms of his impact on on the field for the Cowboys as he was last year um another reason why I feel like they don't really need a corner is I feel like they have quality corners where they have where they're at right now. When you look at guys like Jordan Lewis and Cheeto Bell Woozy and Anthony Brown, yes, they're not the big name that Byron Jones is, and they may not have the Pro Bowl experience that he that he has as a, a Pro Bowler and I believe an All Pro. But at the same time, you have to look at it from this standpoint. When they were rookies in 2017, the Cowboys went nine seven. Uh, they didn't make the playoffs because of, you know, mainly because of the injuries and the suspension that they had around them. But they had a relatively uh, average season. But a part of that average season, their defense was probably the best part of the team. And on top of that, just with the defense, the cornerbacks who were rookies at the time, Jordan Lewis and Cheetah Bay Wuze, who are projected to be the corners now, were rookies that year. And they played well. I mean, the Dallas Cowboys defense was 11 in pass defense that year and this was as rookies coming into the league and you may be like oh 11 that's not as great as it could be but you gotta understand even with byron jones there the best the cowboys ever got to was ninth and that was with more yards allowed so you gotta look at it from that standpoint guys like jordan lewis didn't really get a chance to shine as they wanted to with christian Shaw under the hand because of his preference for bigger better or bigger cornerbacks and press coverage but i really feel like with um with jordan lewis i feel like when he got on the field he made plays he was one of the better cornerbacks he it's fair to say that he was the best cornerback on the cowboys this year like i said no disrespect to byron jones but you can just go off of who made the plays when they were on the field when byron jones was on the field not only did he make plays but he did something that most cowboys defenders didn't do he created turnovers he he made fumbles he took the ball away everybody remember his big play against the saints a season ago everybody remember his toe tip against chicago he knows how to make plays on the ball and he's really good in the slot but he's even better on the outside because he's a really good outside corner that way he was in college for the most part and that way he is in the nfl now and i feel like he's going to be moved back to that position because that way he was at his rookie year and he played fairly well he had around a 79 uh, grade for in PFF as a rookie. That's a really good grade, top 50. And on top of that, when he played against good receivers, he didn't really get dominated and bombed like you may think a rookie would. Uh, for example, when they played the Green Bay Packers in 2017, his rookie year, when he was starting the outside corner position, he held all pro receiver Devontae Adams to just seven catches for 66 yards. Now, yes, Devontae Adams did have a couple touchdowns in that game. He had that last, he had that touchdown at the end of the game, that dagger. Even though, if you pay attention to that drive, him and, him and Jordan went back and forth at the on goal line attempts before Devontae eventually beat him and got the ball. So he played, and then when they played guys like back to Michael Cap Crabtree, I mean, thank you. Um, they played very well. Uh, they didn't really allow him to do too much and didn't really allow him to get around the field and dominate them a lot like that, which ultimately helped the Cowboys win that game against the Raiders. You look at you look at uh, when they win, even 2018, when the Cowboys played the Giants and Cheeto Bad Wuze uh, guarded Odell Beckham Jr. for most of the game. Now, Byron Jones did get on uh, OBJ for some parts of the game, but I believe Cheeto Bay guarded him for most of the game. He locked down Odell. I mean, it's fair to say Odell didn't Odell didn't have a good game. You can go back and check the stats. It was one of the worst games I think Odell had against the Cowboys. And that was a, a two-year Cheeto Bay Wuze. If you watch the Cowboys, Cheeto Bay Wuze is a really good corner. Yes, he gets picked on because he had a guy like Byron Jones on the outside. But if you got to be realistic about it, 
even though he got picked on, the main reason why he wasn't as dominant as he should have been was just because of the fact that he had an inability just to be able to be smarter, just turn his head around. Um, you know, he had really good coverage. He covered guys extremely well as you go back to it. He just didn't really have the, I don't know if it was coaching or not, but just being able to turn his head and go locate the ball. Because I feel like if he was able to do that, he would have made a lot more plays on the ball because he's that type of guy. You can move him, not only is he a really good outside corner, you can move him around. And it was stated multiple times with Byron Jones on the field that Cheeto Bay got his credit for being a good two cornerback, which he's gonna be, because I feel like that's his best position. Now, do I feel like he could have used a better coach? No disrespect to Christian Schwartz, he did a great job with Seattle, he did a good job with Dallas. But just with a different coach, and, uh, with, a good, with a different coach, the talent that Cheeto Bay already has and his cover skills, uh, maybe, you know, it's going to make him a better ball hawk from the cornerback position and just being able to turn his head and reduce the amount of penalties, which is ultimately going to make him a better corner. Um, so I feel like, and then even with Anthony Brown in the slot, Anthony Brown isn't the best cowboy. I understand a lot of fans don't really like Anthony Brown like that. Trust me, I'm not on his fan. I'm not on his fan train either. I've said on multiple occasions that I didn't really like Anthony Brown, but I will give him this. He is an average slot corner. He will not kill you. He will not, you know, get burnt on big plays and let big plays happen. He's not one of those guys. But he's just not one of them guys where you're going to feel safe if a Julian Edelman, a Cole Beasley, uh, anybody, any of the top slot guys is right there guarding him. You don't really feel safe on the third and ten that he may not give that up. And that's just the fact of the matter. But... Like I said, in younger years, his rookie year in the league, 2016, the Cowboys' 13-3 uh, season, he had a really great rookie year, and I remember him in a memorable game. His best game of the season was when he locked down Deshaun Jackson when he played for the Redskins, and when we played, when the Cowboys played the Redskins, and he's a really good slot corner. He just like another guy that I feel like just needs a little bit better coaching, and he just needs. He's not really a starter. He's more of a rotational piece, and I feel like if you can get a guy up in there to rotate with him, you can be good. Now I do feel like the Cowboys should draft the safety. My own preference is if you're gonna do it, I would rather do it in the second round or the third, and it's a reason because of that. The reason why I would do it in the second or the third round is simply because of the fact that. In those rounds, you can still get you a top five, maybe top ten corner coming out of the draft. And I'm not saying that corner is heavy in this draft like the wide receiver position is. But what I am saying is, if you were able to get an A.J. Terrell or a Trayvon Diggs at that lower spot, you know what I mean, or, or even a, you know, if you're able to get a C.J. Henderson somehow at that spot, you know, you can really do something with that. Now, you're not going to be able to get a Jeff Okuda. That, that's just a fact, unless you trade up, which would be stupid. But if you can maybe wait till the second round, one of those guys will be there. And you can kind of draft a young guy that's probably a second-round talent and make him a rotational piece, move him around the defense when other guys have to come out the game. And that way you don't have to rely on one guy at a certain spot too long because you have a rotational talent here. Uh, guy may not the best guy in the draft. However, he can still be a time to corner that you can rotate And I'd rather have a second round guy that I can rotate and move around and he'd be productive Then you know go get a guy and expect him to be Byron Jones part two because I feel like Jordan Lewis has shown the ability to be a good corner on the outside and he is Improved in his covering skills as it's been seen especially last season covering guys in the slot so I feel like the Cowboys are really better than most people assume at the corner position. Everybody's making it a big deal. Um, I really feel like, you know, they got better in that department with the, uh, this, they got the better in the backfield uh, with the Ha Ha Clinton this signing. You know, you got Xavier Woods. You still got those young guys that can still, you can still, in my opinion, still have you have a better defense now than you did in 2017 when they when they were rookies and you had a top 12 pass defense and with with you know different coaching and with them being improved players from their rookie season i feel like the outside will be good and i feel like it will be safe especially with the defensive line that the cowboys are building i feel like the corner position is being a little bit overreacting and i don't feel like that should be a reach that we should go for in the first round because i feel like we're safe at that position right now that's all I got to say about it. If you disagree, let me know. If you agree, let me know. Um, but that's all I got to say about it. Peace.